What is trending on social media? A new update on whether Novak Djokovic will get to play the Australian Open, seeking to get that three-year Aussie visa ban lifted. He told a Serbian journalist, quote, there are some positive signs. I hope to have an answer in the next few weeks. His lawyers are communicating with the authorities in charge of his case. John, what do you think happens here? I think anything we can do to avoid a repeat of what happened in January, which benefited no one, is uh, advisable. I, I honestly, I mean, I don't know where he's getting his information, but if, in fact, this is true, that he can get an answer in the next few weeks, one way or the other, that's a positive. My instinct is that he's not going to miss this event, and he'll need some sort of special exemption, but Australia's COVID rates are much different than they were in January when this was such an issue. And again, if, if we can get an answer in advance and avoid sort of uh, the circus we had in January, we all we all win. As a player, what are your feelings on this, Chris? I hope that Novak is able to play this Australian Open. I mean, just the entire situation, obviously, as Sean highlighted, it was a bit of a circus at times, but I really don't attribute too much of that to Novak Djokovic. I think there were a lot of there was a lot of blame to go around between Tennis Australia and the Australian government, maybe relaying information or maybe the wrong information. Novak came. He thought he was going to be able to compete. And because he was given wrong information, he was deported. We know the rule that if you're deported, your visa, you cannot get a visa for three years. We understand all that. However, I do believe that Novak will be able to play. I hope that he's able to play. I hope that they're able to come to some type of compromise that will allow him to compete because by his own definition, he tried to follow the rules that were put before him, and it just was a very, very unfortunate incident, how it all went down. It would be tough if arguably the best player in the world, I know he's not ranked number one, but arguably the best player in the world misses two straight majors.